What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. This one, as of right now recording this once again, we are still in a standstill with the beta. It's been a little bit of a problematic afternoon here for the servers. I've played two games in about four hours, so kind of frustrating, but regardless, we still have content here for you guys to get you guys in the know, in the loop with Infinite Warfare's beta. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the nuke, how to get it, and everything you really need to know about the nuke in the beta. But before we get too far into it, drop a like down below if you guys do and join if this helps you out in any way, shape, or form. And if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. That button takes literally a half second to click, and you guys then get notified of everything here regarding tips, tricks, information, and all that kind of stuff with Infinite Warfare, and then moving forward into Modern Warfare Remastered as well. But let's talk about the nuke here with this. It was speculated a little bit that we wouldn't get the nuke because a lot of people, including myself initially, thought that variants would be something that would be slightly left out of the beta, it would be something that would be there, but really we wouldn't have too much hands-on access with it here. However, yes, Yesterday we got a stream talking about the beta, giving us a little bit more information, and they basically detailed that one of the key things they wanted to hit on with the beta was the fact that variants will be a huge part of the game, and they wanted to give a lot of hands-on experience with the variants as well as different crafting abilities in Infinite Warfare's multiplayer. So that said here with this, that then opened up a whole new can of worms where there was going to be abilities on each of the weapons, the weapon perks if you want to put it that way, that were attached to each variant. So as soon as I booted up Infinite Warfare, I wanted to check out everything within the menus and all that kind of stuff and one of the things that I noticed was that there was actually a couple of weapons that had the nuke available. Those six weapons were the variants of each of their base weapons and they are as follows. The NV4 Fallout which is an assault rifle, the Mauler Ruin which is an LMG, the EBR 800 Purge which is a sniper rifle, the DCM Purifier which is a shotgun, the ECM Calamity which is a pistol, and the FHR 40 Havoc which is an SMG. Now the way that you get these weapons are via salvage. That is the main way to get it. You can get them if you're very lucky in supply drops, but with people only getting 30 keys and 90 keys here to start with the beta and the way to get keys almost identical to Black Ops 3, it does take quite a bit of time to even get one supply drop. So it is something that does test your time and your luck quite a bit. So salvage is the main way to do this here. You can buy each individual category here. And like we mentioned yesterday, you do in fact have to buy the base weapons, then the first tier up, the second tier up, the third tier up, and so you get that final one as well, but each new weapon that you get, it costs you more salvage points here with this. So that said, you can unlock them, you can get them out of supply drops, but the thing is, is that it's going to take quite a little bit of time to get your hands on any of these higher up ones because they are the legendary versions of the weapon categories because, well, firstly, once again, you have to purchase multiple different tiers of whatever weapon you're going for here with this and starting off with not too much salvage it does take quite a bit of time. And the way that the salvage works, it seems like it's very progression based and something that doesn't happen as much as you'd think in terms of earning salvage points. But then also if you wanna go for say the FHR 40, which is a mission team variant, that is something you have to be level seven in the JTF Wolves mission team. So while it is possible, that is only actually one of a couple of obstacles that you have to get here to be able to get a nuke in the actual beta of Infinite Warfare. The first barrier once again is just to get that variant that has the nuke attached to it. That's gonna be something that takes a long time because of the salvage, how it works. And then also, if you guys may happen to get lucky, you could get it out of a supply drop, but there then comes another little bit of an obstacle here with this. As you guys may or may not know, the way that the nuke works is once you have that variant, it has to be done with that variant. So it's gonna take 25 gun kills strung together with that single weapon. So what you have to do is you have to get 25 consecutive kills with that one variant. Let's take the NV4 for example. You have to use the NV4 for that entire kill streak. Yes, you can swap to a different weapon, but it won't count towards the 25 streak that you have here with this. So, say you could end up with a 30 kill streak, but you use 10 kills of that with a different weapon. Your streak with the NV4 that has the nuke attachment would only then be at 20 instead of 30. So, this is going to be your second obstacle because it takes a lot of precision, a lot of strategic planning, and some just overall good luck here with this because you're using one singular weapon. And the next big thing is that everybody, whenever this was first announced, immediately went to the idea of scavenger, that you're gonna need to have scavenger on this weapon so that you don't run out of ammo. However, 
Scavenger is not in this build of the game. It is behind the unlock wall that is too high up for the beta. Though we don't have a specific number for the level cap in Infinite Warfare's beta just yet, my guess would be it's 30 because there are things that, in terms of weapon unlocks, that only go up to 29, and then there are some things with the payloads that go up to 36, but we don't have any other payloads or combat rigs other than the three that are already present within Infinite Warfare right off the bat. So that's your third then obstacle here with getting the nuke is that one of the most crucial perks to this streak is not available. So that is kind of where it lies right now. Yes, the nuke is in Infinite Warfare's beta. It is completely there. You do have the ability to get the streak here with it, but is it something that might happen? My guess is that though it could, it's something that is very unlikely. And if you pull it off, if anybody pulls it off this weekend or next weekend in the beta, it's definitely gonna be a massive accomplishment. So am I saying it's not possible? No, it's definitely possible. It's just going to be very, very hard to do. And it's something that I guess you can challenge yourself if you really want to go for that to try and get the world's first nuke. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up here with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanna let you guys know about this. The nuke is in Infinite Warfare. It's just extremely hard to get at this point in time and something that definitely will be a massive challenge so if you guys are willing to go for it by all means go ahead here go for it but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like rating down below if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything infinite warfare the beta is just starting we're gonna have a ton of content here kicking out throughout the weekend so stick right here on the channel we're gonna keep you guys up to date with everything you need to know here tips tricks news all that good stuff best class setups you know where to find it right here so thank you guys so much for watching my name is Nicole Espresso. i'll see you guys later take care and peace